Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hi guys, Stephen I fought for my Fort Fortune creating fortunes for the future. Basically, today's uh, video is just to show some things to avoid when using these high frequency trading platform. Now, what do we have to avoid to make sure that your account continues to grow we're getting without getting wiped out or something happens with it because the market is very very volatile anyway i'm going to begin with what it's called free margin and margin level it doesn't matter what how much money you have in your balance if you have these two out of sequence or out of balance you're going to probably find this line down the bottom here will flash in red that means it's giving you a warning that your account is going to be wiped out. This particular account, I have designed it and, and put it together just to show you what to avoid. Okay, first thing to avoid is having too many open trades, specifically to show you what sort of problem it can cause. If you have too many open trades, especially when they're out of the money, that's going to be difficult. To try and recover if you have say four two or four trades up that it's easier to manage especially if you have a very uh, small balance it's easier to manage only two trades that's then as opposed to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now we are always tempted to try and beat the market this is not that's this is not this, this sort of game. You cannot beat the market. All we have to do is put up our trade and let the market do the things for us. All we're doing is following what the market is doing. As I said, I put this up spe specifically to show you too many trades can cause. Now notice in this um, trading session, there's $126 out of the money. But on our balance, we still, we got 121. So we're down by about five bucks. What is important, even though you're down here on your trading value, that your free margin and your margin is a specific area to be saved. Okay, now I'm gonna explain. This is why I'm making this video. You gotta make sure that your free margin is at least five dollars or it's in the dollar value. It's not on the minus. At the moment, mine here is at, at its maximum of losing the account. There is a reason why I'm doing this, as I said, it is, it's, as long as you can follow it. If this margin is below, say, a dollar, for example, you are in deep trouble. Likewise, if this margin level is below 20%, you're looking at your account being in trouble only because of too many trades sometimes and if you have too many trades out of the money but if we go back in the in the beginning when I say it when I said they only need probably two or four trades open trades at a time and that is so you can manage it as it's going through its daily process say for example you only had four and you only had this one which is out of the money very low volume and size and you had a reversal trade this one here on sale and you, you put purchase another trade at buy the two can sort of work itself until one gets into the um, profit you close that one off and you open up exactly another reversal trade to the one that's losing money that's managing your your, your county and you only close the one that's on the train and, and allow the other one to continue to be out of the money as long as you're making money on the opposite side of the trade that is one way to gauge it so instead of closing it at early stage and you're losing uh, profit allow it sometimes to continue based on the historical data that you can probably read using use these horrid, these datas give you a bit of history to see where this particular asset is going into the future remember Anything on the left side of your, of your trades or of the asset, this is where we are at this point. Anything on the left is history. And basically, history tells a lot of stories. It leaves a lot of clues for you to trade open successfully 
and have open trades, just looking at the history where the asset has been and where it could possibly be going. For example, let me give you this. This is today's, of course. The end of today's date is the 21st of April 2017. Let me draw you some line just to allow you to appreciate what history can probably provide. Now, it is not perfect, but at least it will give you some sort of direction where the asset is going and where you can place your bets accordingly or your open trade. Now, I'm just putting these lines in these peaks. Now, let me explain. In these um, resistance, the resistance are the top peaks where the asset's been before. These are resistance, and down below is called support. All I'm doing is putting uh, a couple of lines that we gathered from this mighty tool to gauge where this particular asset is going. And notice, this is where it is now. Notice before in the past, this particular asset has been there, been in that distance, been there before, and it went con and it continued until, until it hit these sort of level, the resistant level. It tends to follow itself. That's what I'm saying. And if you follow it, you'd be surprised how easy it is sometimes just to follow a trend line, follow the history of the, the asset to make money. Okay? I hope you understand. Now let's go back to where we were. And you take all that information, you place your trade accordingly here, and if you find that this is out of the, out of the, um, the money, you go back to your, your losing money. There should be a reversal here later. It might not be today, it might not be tomorrow or next week, but maybe later. And continue that trade, oh, where are we? Continue that trade out of the money until you get a reversal later on in this out of the money open trade will start to come back into the money. That's called managing, managing your account. Now, it is a bit risky doing that, but that's some of the beauty of the market that you can actually uh, monitor, manage your account successfully as, as long as you follow some of these principles I'm showing you. Free margin must be at least $2, for example, and higher, nothing less. Anything less, you're liable to lose your account meaning all these will get wiped out because of the market movement. And of course, the free margin or the margin level must be above 20%. Do not go below those numbers as I, as I have said to you. If you go below, say, $2 or go below 20%, you're in trouble or losing your account because you probably have too many trades that's out of the money or too many trades on your trading, on your open trades. So basically, those are some of the areas to watch for. Um, and all these systems, whether you're, you're trading with a different company or not, they're all literally exactly the same. But what is important to trade successfully, keep this free margin level up, uh, margin and ma free margin, sorry, up, and margin level percentage quite high. That way you can trade safely within these margins, just keeping an eye on it. It doesn't matter what happens here to a certain degree, as long as you're keeping an eye on your on these three little, or these two secret little buttons to make sure your account keeps growing. This account started over 10,000, now it's gone up to 28. Just taking small trades, as you see the size of the trade, say for example, it's only $1, but it's not actually $1, it's just one position. But I wanted to explain it in a simpler a form because it is a little bit more complicated. Uh, but if you just use this term, you're trading a dollar, and you're making whatever money that shows here. But because I've been harvesting, most of these trades are out of the money. Harvesting mean, meaning I've been taking the profit and then to the balance. Now, looking at the trading history, these are the, the profits that I've been closing the trades and taking the profit since. So it's just taking small profits every time. Now and again, you might have to do a drastic move and cut some of these losing trades take your losses you're going to lose that much but at least it will give you a new position to begin with that is to your own discretion remember based on historical data to give you an, uh, uh, a confirmation or affirmation anyway where this asset could be going and it's no good say for example you close this trade off too early and uh, as soon as you close it reverses if you leave it a little bit longer, it actually become part of a signal. 
and part of a great money-making opportunity for you because say for example you had you had this in your portfolio and it just keeps on going up oh, let me bring it up first it keeps going up out of the money sooner or later it's got to come down now you already know because this tells you perfectly out of the money even the charts tells you then you trade against it you know you open up some buy position and you will make money out of the buy position even though this one's out of the money so when this one starts to come in your in your favor you can sort of open up trades as it's going down then so you make money in both directions you just got to be a bit more aware and how to trade accordingly so never panic when certain open trades gets out of the money it could be a blessing in disguise you just got to learn how to trade it how to continue the trade without you know interrupting too much of your your account but making sure the free margin the margin level is up and you can continue trading successfully even though you're out of the money this is the the this is just the other side of the engine what is telling you what your trade is, is doing at the end of the day what you need to do is just to build your balance up taking small small uh, profits like this one here I mean I can take this small profit quarter of the day and open up a new trade you're just taking small skins out of them out of the milk for example or out of the cream and if you continue just taking it small cuts often you will build your account up with just small small amount of uh, a profit as opposed to trying to get big hits all the time so this is part of this this uh, uh, video today and I wanted to share with you keep your free margin up margin level above 20 percent never let your free margin go say below three dollars for example but if you know if if the free margin is out of the out of the money then you could be in trouble here's a here's another one that i needed to show you it's out of the money here's one i got these all these account all over the place um balance 66 76 thousand this this is the one that footsie it's nearly taking me about out of the back door but i notice it's sort of bottom out at the moment uh, let me have a look of course there's a little bit of gambling here um i notice it has dropped that's where i've lost that thirty six thousand. but at the same token there's a big trend in my monthly um uh, time frame and if it all things here we go if it all things everything comes down and it must come up so by just being patient having a lot of balls to hold on to it it will recover and when this starts to recover that means coming back up i'll be trading uh, be buying a lot of buy trades just to capture it when it comes up and this open trade will start to diminish its uh, negative uh, balance and provide the money now that takes a little bit of experience of course to drive that but uh, more importantly don't let it go under see the free margin it's out of the money I'm only still in the game because I got a bigger balance and my trading event it's less than my actual balance that's the other thing to, to watch for if you've got a big balance here it doesn't matter how much you're losing here say for example you had a million dollars in your balance and you got a hundred thousand out of the money it doesn't matter that a hundred thousand doesn't matter as long as some of your trade will start to recover or some of your new trades that you will open will start making you money and i will write any of these um, trades that's out of the money in the hope that you do your your study don't close trades too early sometimes you can close a trade too early out of the money and next minute it comes in your favor anyway see when i fought for my Ford fortune creating fortunes for the future if you need some um, information about how to trade successfully on this high frequency trading platform forex is the other word it is a us seven trillion dollars traded every single day get hold of me get in contact on contact with me there should be a contact detail below this video uh, click on some of the link to join some of these companies so we can start teaching it to you don't put any money into it until you have done gone through some of the practices and uh, and of course subscribe to my video so you can get a lot more of these handy hints for trading for million millions of dollars in the future anyway god bless you stay away from scams we love you and we'll catch you in my next video bye for now